Well, 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 it's been a minute, huh? I'm back. Now, as you guys can tell, where am I at? I'm not here. Face cam, bro. Had to sell it. Now you're broke that no face cam. So, uh, I'm not sure if you guys will ever see me again. Ignore the shorts because I'm using my dad's old face cam that he used to use to, you know, record his tape with my mom. You know. As you guys can tell by the title of the video, I'm updating how to get low latency. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all still watching that video, surprisingly. Surprisingly. And y'all still asking me questions, like, almost to the daily. So I just felt like, hey, you know what? It's about time your boy makes an update video on how to get low latency on FL Studio. <laughs> Alright, so obviously, first of all, open the FL Studio. Like, for real. Alright, so yeah. First of all, open option where it says audio setting. Kaboom. Secondly, your law. Depending if you got... Okay, now this is important, guys. If you guys... I'm gonna do first part USB. Like, you got a USB mic. And then the second part I'm gonna do for XLR users. Alright? If you got, like, an interface or something like that. If you got a USB mic, I still suggest you using Flex ACO. Because in my opinion, it's the dope, man. It's the dope. Your thing will pop up like this. You don't want to touch nothing here. Leave it with no wasabi, right? And this is... You can put it all the way down to zero if you want. I have it on 16. You pick your microphone here. And this is where you pick your headphones, right? And then that's it. Literally, you would just do that and record. Wow. If you guys want to see how to install this, it's literally... The, I'm, I'm going to have the link in the description again. If you want to install this, the .ext, and then you want to install the GUI installer.ext. Now, to answer some of y'all questions from that video was... Can't find Flexio ACO file. Having problem finding the files. It seems like y'all were still having that problem. All y'all had to do was literally go to your C drive, right? Go to users, and then you pick your user, right? And then you go down, and then you find the flexaco.toml file. Now, if you don't have this, if you don't have this, let me know in the comment section below. Tell me, like, hey, bruh. I don't see the play ACO.toml. Join the Discord and I give you this file. You paste it in your in your user file, right? So you paste it there, boom, paste it there, right? If it says error and you do have this, delete like cut this and then paste it somewhere else. And then just press this and it should create a new one. That is for the USB users. Literally, it's that simple. If you have any other issues, just freaking join the Discord, bro. DM me on Discord, be like, bruh. This shit not working. I need your help. You know, I, I'll respond to you as quick as I can. Alright, now, this is for you guys that use interfaces. Now, I got a focus right interface, so it's not gonna be the same for everybody. But if you have an interface, I suggest you using your interface ACO. Most likely, it should install it by itself whenever you download it. Uh, I got the focus right USB ACO, so it comes up, it comes with, uh, the new app. Right, it comes with a new app, um, and then it also turns here. If you, if you guys have the fortress right, I have the 4 out 4 gen, the new one. Yes, sir. Yeah! Not the flex, not the flex, right? But you would click on this top one, and then you would get this thing right here. And this you want to be the same, but this here, this here, this is what you want to change. Remember how, like, the other one, it had, like, on to 16, 0? Um, since focus right, in my opinion, interfaces, they're a lot less latency than USB. You could literally have it at something like 128. Just change this until it's not like, unless you got a dookie PC. Now I'm panicking. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, man. Upgrade, because there's nothing you can do on that. But anyways, literally, that's it. But change whenever I use a low latency. I try to live stream or record using my interface. OBS can't hear shit. I got you, my bro. What you want to search up is Restream. This is Restream right here. This is from the DAW Reaper. I have a link in the description on how to use this. In FL Studio, you want to create send audio and then it'll say broadcast a local broadcast. You click local, right? And then in FL Studio right here, um, I have like you, you click your screen, right? This is gonna be the screen, and then you click filter, and this is important, right? You click plus, you click the VST. 2x plugin you look in the list right depending how many you got you probably don't got a lot uh you would click restream a standalone and then you click receive audio that's it literally that's it now look if i if i hit play you should be able to hear it let's y'all should y'all should be able to hear this pause play pause play pause play pause literally no lag to show off what the actual song sound like you know uh i did this before I did the video it's already out. The song's called, you know, first to the third base. You guys want to check it out? I'll leave the description, bro. I'll just hit, I'll just hit play. 